Hello. The nice thing about the Mole Railway hobby is that it still has occasion every now and then to surprise you pleasantly. One such occasion was this which arrived from Shapeways the other day in this lovely little black drawstring bag which is a, a 3D printed brass model that has quite taken my breath away. The model in question is a box cab diesel electric, uh, the GE Ingersoll ran from the early 20s, 30s um, that ran on the Central Railroad of New Jersey. 3D printed in brass, the level of detail that uh, is built into this is quite staggering. It's a design produced by Walt on his Southern End Scale pages on Shapeways. Um, I was a bit reluctant to order it because it is very expensive, but then you compare it to the price of, say, a etch nickel silver kit, and it's actually not bad at all. The amount of detail that it's put into it is quite staggering, including the grab rails, the windows, rivet detail. Quite all in all, a remarkable piece of design. As produced, there are two uh, bars moulded across, which are obviously designed to stiffen it during the manufacturing process. These are thin enough to come out quite quick, easily. There are some unavoidable rasterization uh, lines on it, layer lines, but I can live with these as they are. It's not going to be as easy to clean them out as it is on one that's actually 3D printed in ABS. The body shell has been designed to fit the Rockerhand Shorty chassis, this ubiquitous really useful little chassis that's been available for a couple of years now is going under all sorts of things. Um, the additional weight that this is going to bring to it is actually going to make it a much better runner and puller anyway. So my original diesel electric box cab was the same model, the same uh, vehicle, but done by Stoney Smith also on Shapeways in ABS. This is considerably smaller than the Waltz one. Um, I don't know which one's actually right, but this is the one that had the first of the Rockerhand shorty chassis put underneath it. And there's the Rockerhand shorty chassis itself, now well known to a lot of Zeg gauge modellers. As I say, it's a very, very versatile little mechanism. There's a hole at either end that Walt's designed in to take the lugs on the end of the shorty chassis. However, they were slightly too long. I've had to trim one down just to make sure that I could get, first of all, get the chassis in, and more importantly, get the thing back out again. But it does mean that the body sits very high, and I think long term the plan will be to take those lugs off completely, drop the body much lower down onto the chassis to a more realistic scale height. So I've cut the lugs off on the end of the Rockerhand Shorty chassis. This has allowed the chassis to go straight up to the top of the body and then I've made some packing pieces. One was the original nickel silver packing piece that went underneath the uh, Stony Smith body shell, the plastic one. Then a couple of additional ones out of uh, different thicknesses of plastic art. And I'll probably put them all together with double sided tape just to retain everything in place.
To be honest, I haven't got the heart to paint this. I'm going to run it, I think, in its unpainted natural brass form at the shows this autumn uh, when I'm taking either Republic or Kia Hogra, just to show people how amazing some of this new technology is.